fun day. Um, I have a number of rescue dogs that are getting ready to go to new homes and it's always just such a joyful time. Um, I just want to speak a little bit because rehabilitation is undoing, you know, what something else has been done, whether it was deliberate or whether it was accidental or just circumstances. But I wanted to talk a little bit about um, how it should have started. We've talked about that before, and you quiet now. Thank you. This right here, we look at it as a puppy. It's not. It's a lump of soft clay. This little puppy doesn't have opinions. Now, he's, uh, what, 12 weeks? 13, something like that. So he's got some opinions, except he's been raised down here, and he really has not been allowed to experience a lot of different things. He's had a very innocent childhood. He's been in a pen. He's in a crate, so he understands that. He's played. He's experienced other dogs. He trusts people. He's learning to be clean, kind of. Um, but he is a blank slate. This is our lump of clay. Now. When we consider the breed, all right, in every lump of clay, there's a few little rocks in there. We're not going to change this dog into a Yorkie. We're not going to change this dog into a Rottweiler. We're not going to change this dog into a Maltese. He's a soft lump of clay with certain rocks that we can't change. Those are predictable priorities in this breed. We can cover them up. We can push them in farther. But they're there. As a Lakeland Terrier, we're not going to convince him he doesn't want to chase water. As a Lakeland Terrier, we're not going to convince him he doesn't want to go <laughs> chase and hunt small fuzzy things. Now whether he continues to do that or not is up to whoever is shaping that clay. But this puppy is going to be a soft lump of clay progressively hardening until at a year old you're down to shaping him with chisels, with sandpaper, with you know, some harder equipment. A little saw maybe, a Dremel. Yeah. Right now, he is that little soft clay. Because he's three months old, almost four, stop. It's time to start doing some shaping. Now when we get to training dogs, one of the things I teach is there's three areas that must be dealt with. Walking on the lead is certainly one. Being calm is certainly one. Is that? Handling is quite another. Handling is people petting him. Handling is grooming. Handling is somebody to giving him a treat. Handling is just simply interacting with him. Now it's up to us to make sure he understands how to be appropriate in all of those areas. Good boy. Does he want to sit still? No. Kenny? Yes. Does he want me to look at his teeth? No. Does he want his toenails cut? No. Does he want to do this? No. Too bad. This is not training, this is conditioning. Here we have Petey. Petey's just a little bit older than, um, what's his name? Gatsby. Okay. Petey's had the handling. The difference is Petey's going to go home in a couple weeks. Gatsby's going to be here until next spring, at least, if not longer. So I, ha I can allow him to have a little more childhood than I can this one. Petey's mom sitting right here smiling, big smile, and she should. Now, the handling is crucial. Because even if you break your leg, you're still going to be handling the dog. You won't be walking it. It'll have to be calm. 
Handling is something you do sitting in a car. Handling is something you do when you take the dog to the veterinarian. Handling is something you do when you have company. Handling is something you basically do pretty much every day, or should at least. Good. So when we combine calmness with handling, it's quite pretty. That means every, hey, hey, don't. Her teeth are getting sore. She's almost 16 weeks old, or she is 16 weeks. August 22nd, so. Well, 22nd should be. Okay, so she's pushing four months old. She's not there yet, but almost. Her teeth are getting sore. Gums are swelling up. They're tough. They hurt. So when I grab her mouth, but you know what? Sometimes it does hurt. Good girl. But they're swelling. If she gets an eye infection, well, guess what? If she gets an ear infection, guess what? If she has to be groomed, you can't be chasing her around. Easy. Good. Don't have to like it. I don't care. Some things you have to do you don't like. I hate it when they clip the back of your neck when they give you a haircut. Because it always hurts. I always get I always get clipper burn. So you put up with it. Every square inch of this dog belongs to you. When you can handle the dog this way, you can take better care of it. Are you keeping all that control just... I have my finger through the collar. It's just to hold her head up. But no, I have, I have my ring finger through there. Just she's resting her head. No, there's no struggle here. Good girl. This tells you we do work with them some when we're not on camera. Good. Now, along with all this, this puppy can't be afraid. Hey. That was an awkward way to do it. Stop. Can't be afraid to be vulnerable. Can't be afraid to expose its tummy, to expose its throat. This puppy is trusting me with its life at this point. Now we liken this to the exercise where you hold your arms in front of your body, they blindfold you and you fall backwards, and you trust that somebody catches you. <laughs> Fat chance of that. <laughs> Yet we expect this dog to do it. There's no way this dog would do this if we had not proven we were trustworthy. Unless the person is trustworthy, why would you trust them? Ain't gonna happen, is it, Petey? No. Now, just like the puppy, stop. She's getting kind of big to do this, but I try to do this quite often until they get too big that it's, it's getting close to that because it's uncomfortable. But this dog has got to take pain, just like the puppy temperament test. She tested beautifully as a baby, carried it through. So our clay is now hardened a bit, still got the Airedale lumps in it. We're not going to change her from being an Airedale. We are going to teach her that even if it looks like you should bark at it, okay, bark once, and then we're done. Even if that little dog looks like you would want to chase it, uh, not. We have to teach the dog to be respectful of small dogs, because if he had Joan's hat on, that's a bunny. All right? Airedale see no sense in the silliness of little toy dogs. They have to be taught to be respectful. They have to be confident with big dogs so that they're not living their life afraid. That's the shaping. This is not comfortable for this puppy. And yet she's accepting it and that's important. It's probably some of the most important things that we do here is teach the puppy to tolerate all this nonsense. 
And there's a lot of it. Come on, Petey. Good girl. Walking on the leaves is the smallest <laughs> part of it. Good girl. Now, we're not asking her to heal. We're expecting her to want to be with us, just like a little kid. It's wrong for a four-year-old to be in military school. The time for that's later. Right now, she just needs to be a good kid. Good girl. This is age-appropriate, well-mannered puppy. dogs around here that were started, right? Cooper's the end result of this. Eric is the end result of this. Brandy is the end result of this. And then we've got some dogs who came either after a bad experience, they were rescues, um, situation, and then you end up with dogs that have stuff. All right, Tracy, will you bring Max over here, please? So Easy. Now, Max, getting ready to go into a new home. When Max came, he wasn't nasty. He'd been raised, you can always tell how they're raised. This dog was so food obsessive. Oh my gosh. And he'd rip it out of your hand. Well, you know very well, somebody walked around with a piece of treat for him. <laughs> right? Good boy. He also had played, I'm sure, in either a playgroup or a dog park because this dog did not wait for somebody to want to be nice. He went in that group and he said, all of you, listen to me. For that reason, he lost his original home, and he actually lost the foster home. He was bossing around the lab and another old Karen, and the people that... <laughs> Max came here actually for a private lesson, and I was pretty impressed with him because he picked it up right away. But you can't raise this dog just being nice at this point. You can't go back to innocent. You can't go back to a time when the dog doesn't remember what it was like to take charge of a house. You're never going to. So at this point, instead of just growing up with the Karen rocks that are in there, he's grown up with another rock that was pushed into there. And we either live with it or we push it in farther and we cover it over. It's never going to totally go away. So whoever gets this dog had better get out of here. You horrible dog. Had better pay attention to being in charge. Um, the young man that's going to get him is, a, is the nicest kid. His mother has a Yorkie, has two Yorkies. His question was, will they be able to play together? Uh, we'll have to see. Again, bunnies. So the game the Yorkie likes to play is play with the, the grandma's, I think it's a Maltese, and they run around the yard chasing each other. Well, that's just fast food, huh, Max? Yeah. But Max will be going to work with, the, with his new guy. Matt, he owns a home, fenced-in yard, and bunches of squirrels. Squirrels and bunnies are very much alike, aren't they, Max? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, Max actually was good on a lead. Max has learned to be very calm and patient. But Max's handling was tough. So we had to do an exercise very much like I did with Petey, only hers was pretty. It was easy. I flipped over on her back. She goes, okay. Max wasn't so happy about that. 
But you know what? In order for him to go into a home, he's got to agree that he can trust the person that has him. I'm ex. I know. I have a hot dog in my pocket, don't I? <laughs> no subtlety there. All right. Now, before a dog can be placed, we need to make sure we have the same thing we have in that puppy, except we do this with always prepared, just in case. Aren't they cute? Just in case he takes offense, and he might. He's still a new guy. Good boy. All right. Now, this is truly kind of a determining factor very often in whether a dog is salvageable or not. There was a question. The jury was still way out as of last Sunday. I had an idea, but until you really push it, you don't know. And until you know, you can't safely put this dog in somebody's home and say, oh, life is good. Good. Good boy. So it begins with the sit, stand, good. Sit, good. Max, down. Now the first time I told him down, Believe me, he wasn't all that impressed. That was last Sunday. This is actually the third time. Good oh boy. Max, tip. 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 Good tip, Max. Good tip. Yeah, he trusts. Once we did this, Max became happy. He said, finally, I don't have to worry about being safe. This is a rehabilitated dog. Walking on the lead is only part of it. So at this point, hey, you, what you think? Come on, Max. Good job. Good boy. Oh boy! Come here, Max. What you got? At this point, good boy, Max. I don't even have to hold the lead. If I am his safety, easy Willie, easy Max. Good, easy Max. All right. Max no longer has to be the tough guy. He's got me. I can control, oh, the food, we didn't do the food yet. Hey, Max, you want to learn to be a good dog? We have to be in charge of all five of those values. Max, hey, mine, 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 not a problem. Food. Attention, comfort, and most important of all, safety. <coughs> Good boy, Max. <laughs> so if I can walk up to a person, hi there, person. Oh. Hey, Max. Good boy. My little dog doesn't have to worry. What are you doing there? Oh, look at there. Now he doesn't have to be afraid of people. Max is going for his first home visit on Sunday. It'll probably be a week or two at the longest. Max will be in his home chasing squirrels, going to work. At a year and a half old, he came here ready to be put down. He decided he was salvageable. Is that an unusual color? Uh-uh, he's a Brenda. Oh, okay. Yeah. He played, he, he doesn't like Haiti, which is really cool. She's been a good test because if any dog is obnoxious, she is. And he holds it together even when she's out there. So 
he's gotten so, he used to just kind of, didn't want to be outside by himself. He wanted me out there with him. He's scared to death. Now he'll actually go out with her, but he knows to just kind of freeze when she runs by so she doesn't play with him. And he's using his brain. Easy, Max. Hey, Max. Easy. Come on. Come on, Max. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Now, it never matters what the dog does. It only matters how we react. So in reality, this guy is, he's learned his lessons. He's doing what he should. And he's ready to move on. Now, as the dog gets to a year, year and a half old, you will be living with that creation. It's not fired yet, but at a year and a half, two years old, it is fired and that is what you have. Any changes, have to, are, they're done with heavy-duty equipment. Now, in the case of Haiti, she's, what, pushing eight months, I guess. I lose track. This dog has lots of drive, lots of really good stuff. She is very calm to be tied, and she's doing really good with that. Um, walking on a loose lead, big, long line outside, walking on a lead in here is she's doing really good. But because my goal with her is that she's a performance dog, I do not want to be working her all the time. I want to keep this attitude. Now, the gal that had her before programmed in a lot of things. Because she lived with a family does not mean they were the, the uh, big influence. This dog's lived in a performance-type environment. So whether he did it or they did it, I don't know. She, she obviously has played with a tennis ball. The phenomenal retriever. in our brain of where we need to shape this dog because at this point the clay's beginning and it's starting to get hardened and her rocks in there are really prevalent so what we need to do is smooth them out so this is kind of a sandpaper effect we're toning down some of this drive she actually is to a point now where she can competitively two dogs go after the same toy and she will back away which is awesome Learning really good with smaller dogs. Good girl, Haiti. Good job. Come here, Haiti. Good boy. Come here. Hey. Good. Pretty. Give. 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 Thank you. Yeah, she wanted to give that to me. The one thing, <laughs> uh, now she came from a Schutzen background, which says performance. This is a rougher game, 
So she nicked me with her tooth, but not a, you know, get it. Get it. This I will let her win. You get that thing. What you got, huh? What you got? Good girl. She now has won that confrontation. We do eventually have to end that, though. Not she can't end it for her, Good job. Well, she wants to get with me. Come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. Good. Hey. Hey. Come here. Wait. Hey. Haiti. Uh -oh. Wait. Good. Wait. Give. Give. Hey. Give. 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 Good. So there is a way to keep the balance. But it takes deliberate choices. This isn't accidental. She doesn't play with this thing anytime she wants to. Good girl. Good job. If I say it's done, it's done. She's quite a dog. So it's kind of fun to watch her progress. She's loose most of the time. She's very respectful. She's still crowded. She's, she's got a real bad sense of personal space. She drives, hey, you better not. She's growing so fast that she loses a sense of her space. She bumps into things. <laughs> Knocks waist baskets over, or that tail of hers is just, she's a German Shepherd puppy. She's a great dog. Hey, come here. Wait. Good. Smile. Make a noise, Steven. Yes. Look at how pretty you are. Hey, my pup. Hey, my You hear that? this week. Um, you've seen Mary the Pitbull. She is just a wonderful dog. Just terrific. And Mary's been a struggle for me because, well, first of all, she's a Pitbull, so it limits who can handle this dog. And I've been struggling with finding someone who was responsible enough that they would stay on task. There's people that want to adopt her, and they want a baby. There's no way Mary's going to that. That's a setup. This week, I found somebody who's ornery as I am, who will take that dog's part, who does not believe in letting dogs just play crazy. She has a wire fox terrier that's very well behaved. She has a, an acreage. She lives by acreage. She owns her own home, she takes, she'd takes. she take the dog to work, and she wants a dog that would be a good watchdog. Of all the perfect job descriptions for Mary, I am absolutely thrilled. Noah is doing really good. He's, he's probably getting very close, and um, we've got an English pointer that's leaving um, as soon as the weather breaks up north. So it's been kind of busy around here. Huh, Max? Anyway, it's been a cool week, so Thanksgiving all around. Have a great week.